I'm Dave, I'm uh, Tony's uh, race engineer stroke chief mechanic. I'm responsible for Tony's car in terms of the mechanical side of it and making sure it's, it's prepared for the races. Everything's, you know, so far been a little bit of a tough one, um, but we are, you know, getting there. And it's the first session, very limited track time in the second session, we're just battling problems. New engine went in, we were meant to bed that in yesterday, we didn't even get to do one lap. That wasn't our fault, that was another car uh, that's <laughs> ruined it for us. Today, first session, gear problems, we were unable to select gear. And when we did, the display wasn't telling us where we was, so it was, uh, that was ongoing and it's still there now. Hopefully we can get it ready to fire for qualifying. It's last year's uh, championship winning car. It's the one that Gordon Shedden drove last year, so it's got a good history. The thing for us is that the car has literally come straight from dynamics. We've had to more or less help them put it back together so that we have it in a, in a running state. And it's it's been quite a, a you know a, a task. Yeah, we bought what is a proven package. The car will be good. We've had very limited time with it, which is unfortunate. Some of it out of our control. So we're just looking to piece it together, get out there and show what we and the car can do. Today was just more about actually get, getting some track time. We've had uh, quite a few issues which have stopped us from being able to run consistently. And uh, Tony's had no time in the car to, to get into a rhythm. And it's been difficult today, but uh, we're reasonably happy because we've got through the qualifying session without any mechanical issues, which we did have in any other test sessions and free practice this morning. Qualifying was interested in it was, um, it was our first time that we actually got some laps together. Uh, first time we've driven the car potentially at speed, so we're about 80, 90 percent now of the car. The whole team's learning, I'm learning, and hopefully we're going to keep moving forward. Race one's going to be our first prolonged test. We haven't had any testing yet, so race one, even though not ideal, is going to be an ideal opportunity for us to get some mileage on the car, get some mileage on me, and for us all to learn the handling characteristics of it. We wanted to try and um, capitalise on the performance of the car from last year, but obviously the new generation cars have bigger brakes, bigger tyres, and through the season they'll become very, very strong. We wanted to try and make a jump by having some consistent results from the performance of the car from last year early on. We want to be finishing the season in the top 10. We're not starting where we want to be, we're sort of 19th or 20th on the grid for race one. So we'll be looking to finish the weekend inside the top 10, so we know we've got places to make up. I think realistically, uh, with the car Tony has got, it is a good package and should be looking to maybe push into the top 10 for the season, which will be a good yeah. result for an independent team. The guys are here for the love of it and, and to try and see Tony get forward, so uh, it, it will be tough, but once we get into a rhythm, then uh, hopefully we can make the reliability of the car the, the deciding factor. We'll be carrying it around if it don't go around its own state. <laughs>